Good morning, everybody. You're in for a treat today. Mm-hmm. Where are we? That's Stacy. You might Hanging wonder, out with Stacey. what are you doing in a Disney resort? <laughs> Our cousins got a flight out at, at 1 in the morning. They booked a flight for like 7 a.m. So they left at, we didn't even know, they left at 4 a.m. Like we had a text message and I woke up at 6 because of Eve. No, because we had a big flash on our phone too. Oh yeah, because we we're we officially in hurricane warning. And then I saw a text message from our cousin saying, give me a call when you get a chance. We got a flight to Denver. And I was like, oh, let's give them a call. Like thinking it would be like, we would drive them. They were already at the airport. They took a taxi, they left the resort. Um, they the kids were mad. Bed. We are, had just had the realization that we might have their snacks and maybe some quick services up their dining plan. You may see us be gorging <laughs> ourselves because their dining plan ends tonight, runs out at midnight. And we don't want to get home around the early afternoon, so we may we're going to Magic Kingdom today. In our pajamas. In our pajamas, pajama day, <laughs> just to get some. some I'll show you my pajamas. Some magic later. and some. The only time you'll see Peter go to the park in yeah. gym shorts and me with wet hair. Yes, but they also bought all this food because they didn't think they were getting out. So really, we came here for like, look at this, they've got muffins, <laughs> peanut, this whole thing of peanut butter jelly, bread. Grapes. They've got all this water, chips, Red Bull, Frappuccino, I'm gonna have this right now, I think. And they're gone, so we're gonna take it all. Now we gotta pick up <laughs> all their food. <laughs> we are losing our mind about all the possibilities for the quick service meals. Casey's, Dole Whip, Be Our Guest. It's all on the table. It's all on the table. Now we aren't gonna be too ridiculous because we are gonna have leftovers because there's nine quick services. We are gonna go to the resorts. A lot of the resorts offer box lunches. So because we are most likely going to lose power today or tomorrow, um, we'll eat today and then stop at a resort on the way home and get all box lunches. Right? Yes. So here's the signs they have out. Happy Ever After has been canceled. Park's closing at nine. But right now it does not look Oh look, they're taking down the facades. That's good, but it'll be safe. That's just like they were doing in studios with taking down the construction walls because of the high winds that are coming in. Um, but right now, the park looks good morning. The park, uh, park's looking real slow, look at this. I mean, it just opened not too long ago. But that's a pretty empty park, so let's go on every single ride, eat every single meal before three o'clock, right? Ready, set, go. It's, it's a scary day, but a magical day. We knew the pins, so we guessed the pins, so we can eat right away. And it's fall, and no one's in the park. So the fall. Ooh, look at she's ready for some beer. Guess. Look at, look at all these cars. And look at. They have the, this one looks crazy with all the, with the facade coverage down. It's weird, but we're definitely gonna take advantage of it, right? Because if cast members are gonna be here to make magic, we will be here to make sure that they know that they are appreciated. <laughs> but look at that, I, Disney never does this. They never show you the inner construction of it all. Looks good though. First stop on the tour to eating today. I think that's what we're gonna call it is Be Our Guest Breakfast. So this is one of the three themed rooms in the Be Our Guest. It's so slow right now that they are not allowing guests to eat over here because to minimize the need of running around and cleaning up tables and whatnot. And finding. And finding people's foods. But it's gorgeous, it's got all those paintings and that giant music box in the center. This is, this is a fun experience before what's gonna happen, you know? And then uh, this is the ballroom. Every breakfast comes with these complimentary pastries. I got the croque madame. It's ham and bread and cheese and just, a, I think it's some sort of egg. Peter got the feast a la Gaston. First of all, we've beyond filled. And we're nowhere near done even. We've only begun eating. Jill's gonna meet up with us for lunch, we think. She's gonna try to. So she's gonna take some, more to some of our dining credits. Right now, standby, which we've never done for Mind Train. 20 minutes. That gives you any inclination if you know anything about the park about how slow it is. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I lost my hat on the ride. Can we go look for it? I know where it was. There's my hat. It is right there. That's my favorite Disney hat. Do you want to ask? We're not going to shut down the ride to get that hat. No, I know that. I'm just saying like... No, we'll just have to go to Lost and Found later. This is just my proof. That's my hat. This is time stamped. Leave a comment down below if you work for Lost and Found and can get me my hat back. Look at Casey's, Casey's Corner. It's the peak of lunchtime time. Well, it's almost lunchtime. And it's empty in here. Pineapple, red pepper, cilantro, lime juice, and sweet chili. That sounds so weird. All right, let's get me a new hat. <laughs> Nothing like just the mayor of Main Street, USA, just enjoying the trolley show and greeting guests. Just having a good old morning. So here I've got, I've got my new hat. It's a newer Mickey through the ages hat. We went to Lost City Hall to do a claim for my lost hat, but they kind of just told me like not today. Like if they find it, they will bring it to Lost and Found tomorrow. But they're closed tomorrow and Monday, so I'm not sure if they're going to be open. Um, so we'll see what's going to happen. They gave me a number to call. If I get my hat back, I do. I do. If I don't, then I don't. So I don't know what's going to happen with that, but I got a replacement just to, just to be safe because my hair is ridiculous. This is our Buzz Lightyear weight. Look at this. Thank you, Rich. This is a, this is walking straight on. It's not even five minutes. How many points are you going to get this time? Zero? Wait, how many points? Oh, I thought you said how many times that's happened before. <laughs> um, I'm going to be glad to hear of it. You can do it. It's pitiful. I think we both did pretty rough. 3,900, 400. Not, my, not even close to my huge. I usually get in the 700s. I think it's like 12,000. Look at this. This is Space Mountain. It says 10 minutes. And by 10 minutes, by 10 minutes, they mean a 10 minute walk right on the ride. I like this side of space not better than this side. One side is speedier, one side is like, yeah. droppier. I think this is a drop. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. We're doing people mover, but there's the robot. We never ever, I've never seen the, the robot before. There he is. Hello, I can. Sarah, go spin all those. Go spin all those things. Wait a minute, is this, is this what, this is what's coming our way here. This is the rain, rain, rain. I could eat, but I could always eat, especially in Disney. <laughs> we're waiting for Jill, and we don't know what we're gonna do for lunch, but we might get some ice cream after with these snack credits. Look at the line is so short that they're not even letting people go into the graveyard. the graveyard, the cemetery. Great. Look at that, walking right into the show. Okay. Wow, Sarah. Wow. It said it was 13 minutes. Isn't that such a weird 
ominous, spooky time. 13 minutes. Our cousins landed in Colorado. Yes, they made it safely out of the state. <laughs> <laughs> we got out of Haunted Mansion, it is pouring. Look at that. And just like that, I don't think that was Hurricane Irma. I think that was just, I mean, I think it's the outer bands. But that's probably what we're gonna see between now and when the actual, the real storm starts because that was a really heavy, heavy, like dense downpour. And I don't know how long it was going on because we were in the ride for maybe 15 minutes. But uh, it's over now. It's super sunny. It's gonna get real humid real quick. But I'm sure that's not the last of what is gonna happen today. Well, good. No hurricane can, can, can keep Jim away. Oh, not if we weren't still full from breakfast, but look who we found. We have to get food now. Yeah, Jill's, Jill works for a forest preserve, and she got done like saving all the animals of the, of the world. But we got Pecos. We got nachos, some platter, burrito, all the fixins. This is Sarah's doing because she's an addict. Time to eat more food, and then we're doing ice cream, right? So this is the last logical thing we're going to do with the, uh, our cousin's dining package. Anything after this is just sick and, and grotesque. Please hold on to the handrail and stay clear of the doors. We are back at the Grand Floridian where our car is and where we are going to try to get some box lunches. But we had a great, great day at the uh, Magic Kingdom. Enjoyed the short lines. Enjoyed seeing Jill. And, uh, it's been very interesting to follow Twitter and Instagram and see how the all over property, the different resorts and the parks and the water parks are all preparing for the storm. You know, we still don't know exactly if where or how. If you haven't seen it, look up the like maintenance trucks in the Epcot parking lot. It's yeah, great. they have like all the the maintenance <laughs> and utility trucks that they own in the pro in the parking lot, ready to go post storm. Go, 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 go. So. I said it before, but if you're, for the families that are here, if you have to be here, if you have to be in Florida during the storm, this is one of the best places to be. We have not been told to evacuate. Everybody, friends and family, the news keeps saying, like, you need to leave, you need to get out. We are safe. They're not talking about us. They're talking about the coasts. They're talking about places that are going to get hit and going to get hit hard. We have the luxury of being in a safe place. So, yes, we're going to go through bad storms, but if we took, if we left, we would take the spot on the road, we would take the gas in the hotel rooms from people that need it when we don't. So we would feed the hectic highways that are getting clogged in the sold out hotels and the price gouging. We would essentially be assisting in that, making that easier to happen by leaving places that are safe. We've talked to so many families in the past three days that this is where they're hiding. This is where they're evacuating to. So why would we leave a place that Hundreds of families are coming here to as for sanctuary. So I know no matter what it's scary, but we are safe here. We have plans, we have precautions. And we're gonna rock it. Alright, so you can see it off there in the center of the screen. There's the castle. And they are doing a good job tying down the fort here at Grand Florida. You can see that they have like the garbage can roped off, the tables are and chairs are either gone or tied down to cemented things. It's a little windy, but I, I know we're not supposed to get like the wind winds. I think that this might be part of it, but the little bit of rain we've had are just the outer bands. But I think we're, we're going back home now and gonna call it... Uh, we have one more snack left. We're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna get one more snack from the inside of Grand Floridian. But then we're gonna go home and start preparing for the rest of the, uh, the storm. Cross the road, little turkeys. They do say that animals start acting differently during straight extreme weather conditions. And here we've got a small pack of wild turkeys. Whoa, this one's crossing. I got it. So here is one of the drains through a retention pond. I don't not guarantee, but it looks like it may run into this one. But it's getting eerie. Just cloud coverage, a little bit of rain. I think these are the outer bands starting. The clouds aren't moving in. Not the most traditional sense, but I was just talking to our neighbors and they did confirm um, both our retention ponds right by our apartment do fill up during bad storms, let alone a uh, whatever's coming our way. It looks clear down there. I mean, it's not much, but that definitely is connecting that to this to, I assume, over here, which makes me feel more comfortable. 
Those are fast moving. All right, so we jumped a couple hours again. But I wanted to show you because we're just going to hang low for the rest of the night. Um, play with the dog. It feels much later than it is, but it's only 8.30. But we're going to sign off now because we've been kind of spent the night getting stuff ready, getting the vlog up. We're going to get another vlog up tomorrow. Um, we don't know if we're going to be putting up the vlogs we've been producing for Monday and Tuesday because of power constraints. What I think it will happen is we will record on the Canon G7X with anticipation of being able to, but if we lose power or internet, we'll just do a one take vlog on our phones for like however long it takes for us to get back to normal life. But we are all set, we are, um, I know numbers keep changing, reports keep changing, but we've got a f stock, a f stock in the fridge full of foods and drinks that will last us a long time we we've got, got a lot of ice we've got a ton of ice and people keep saying that this we've, whole bag is full we've got all this bread up there and fruits and then in here we've got more water and in our bathroom that's like our emergency bathroom we've got even another case of water with all of our tools set aside we've got all of our non-perishables going on I've got all of our patio furniture there so they don't go flying away because I don't want to lose it and I don't also don't want it to become a projectile for somebody else. I, sorry, I've been like hiding the sandbags from Eve because she wants to eat them. But I've got 12 sandbags here that I haven't put out yet. Um, more tarps. And I made friends with our neighbors upstairs, four floor above, up, above us, because I want to show you that the reason why we have the sandbags, even though like we... I don't think we're gonna be like crazy flooding, but I'm gonna walk on our door. Where that darkness begins, it looks like a scary movie, is a retention pond where its entire property, all of the water goes downhill towards that pond. And I have been told that it could fill and could come up to here. But like the, if the lake does fill, it's not going to flood our apartment. She's being a little crazy. She didn't take a nap today because we've been home since like three o'clock. So she's acting a little cranky, the dog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the um, if the pond does fill, we won't flood like catastrophic, like our whole apartment, all our furniture's ruined. I foresee it if it does flood, it only being like a couple inches. So because of that is why one of the big reasons why I went and got the sandbags, even though no one in our complex has sandbags out yet or boarded up windows or anything. But um, we're just being cautious and we're set. We're ready to go and it's beginning. You can hear the wind. The clouds are kind of acting like they're part of the, the hurricane system. So we're here for the next at least two days. Because if Disney's closed, what else do we do? <laughs> <laughs> but everybody be safe, be cautious. We are thinking about you all, not just us. I know a lot of people keep telling us to be safe and everything, but we, there's still a lot more people in harder hit areas that weren't able to get out or didn't anticipate it coming their way. So we are thinking of you guys, just be safe. It's good to be it's home. It's good to be home, even with a hurricane coming, because you can't <laughs> call this home without hurricanes, so it is good you to be right. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.